it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I really hope you're doing fantastic this morning and we'll be talking about the cool down which has currently set into parts of the Northern Caribbean. So different islands such as Jamaica, even the Cayman Islands, Cuba over in Central America are experiencing those below average temperatures. It's definitely felt here where I live in Jamaica. It's 20 degrees Celsius and Usually the night temperature will fall to around 23 degrees or so, but it has been pretty chilly since last evening. Let me know in the comments what your experience is with this cool down. We'll be talking about that as well as another potential uh, pretty intense cold front. Is that really happening next week? We'll be looking at what models have to show and the potential impacts if such a scenario should unfold. And additionally, We'll be talking about the Saharan air layer, so there is some Saharan dust in the Caribbean and uh, it is going to continue to affect eastern islands over the next couple of days. So of course we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery and we can see all that activity associated with that frontal system out there. So there's not a whole lot going on in the vicinity of the Caribbean right now. As we look along the intertropical convergence zone, we're seeing a bit of convection here and there out in the Atlantic and also that little cluster over in the eastern Pacific and even some spots across South America as well. But overall for the Caribbean, let's zoom in here. We're not seeing where anything crazy is going on right now. There is some cloud cover across some areas such as Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, even up toward the Bahamas, parts of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and even over into Central America. Now, overall today, no crazy rainfall activities anticipated. So let's look at the rainfall forecast. And here we're seeing it from Euro. Uh, at the most, there could be just up to around an inch of rainfall and accumulation throughout today. And we're seeing some of those uh, shadings, those red shadings indicating that amount for parts of Southeast Nicaragua, Costa Rica, or even in the vicinity of Puerto Rico and the easterly tip of the Dominican Republic. So those would be the areas with that uh, chance of experiencing some decent rainfall as we head through today, potentially for northern Honduras as well. As we look down to northern South America, we're seeing that it is also colorful within the area. So there may be some periods of substantial rainfall there as well, all the way from Colombia through French Guiana. Looking towards the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands and passing showers will be possible. Nothing crazy, similar story up into parts of the Bahamas and uh, not as much for Cuba as well as the Cayman Islands and for parts of Jamaica may be mostly dry today, but over in the east there is a chance of some passing showers. And yesterday, uh, most of that rainfall activity that took place in the island was actually the northeastern portion of Jamaica for Portland. So there wasn't any widespread rainfall activity uh, across the entire island yesterday, but rather some areas received rainfall, but many of us did not receive much. And then over in Hispaniola, there could be some passing showers as well. We're seeing some of those green shadings. And as I said, for Central America, it's really for Northern Honduras, going down to Southeast Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and even parts of Panama, which may experience some substantial rainfall elsewhere, should be mostly dry today. Now, let's take a look at the wind forecast. And here we're seeing that things are definitely calming down across parts of the Caribbean. So sections of Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and through much of the Lesser Antilles, we're not seeing all those purple shadings. So it was very windy last week. But as I mentioned in the latter part of uh, last week, things would be calming down this week. And that is exactly what is unfolding right now. Also up to most of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands as well. So things have calmed down, but it's still a little bit windy, especially in the South and Western Caribbean and the vicinity of the ABC Islands offshore Colombia, offshore Nicaragua, near uh, San Andres and Providencia, those two islands out there as well. So it is still windy for some areas, not as windy compared to last week though, but for most of us, things have been calming down. As we head throughout the week, this cooler air is likely to loiter and will mostly be felt within those windy areas and also areas which experience that overcast and rainy weather. But because the Caribbean is in the tropics, we receive most of the sun's direct rays. So during the daytime, we may not experience the cool down as significantly, but as we head into the evening and the night and the early morning, that is really when it is felt, when uh, there is no sunshine. So moving on to the Saharan dust, this is the forecast for later this morning, 11 a.m. 
And we're seeing all of that dust blanketing the eastern isles of the Caribbean, most of the Lesser Antilles, parts of northern South America, the Guyanas, Venezuela, and even as far as the ABC Islands. So it's likely going to be resulting in those hazy conditions and uh, trigger those allergies, guys. So please be mindful of that. And even as we head into Thursday, we can see more of the Lesser Antilles expected to be blanketed. However, the quantity of dust likely to be minimized. So the more we see this brown on a lighter shading, not as much dust concentration, but as the shading gets darker, that is indicating a much higher concentration of Saharan dust out there. And also with the frontal systems moving out and the change in the wind direction, a lot of this is likely to linger over in the Eastern Caribbean over the next couple of days. But of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on it as time goes by. Now we're moving on to that next potential uh, frontal system, that next big frontal system that may happen as we head into next week. So this is the forecast for Monday evening. And there we're seeing that area of low pressure off the Carolinas right there. And all these green shadings indicate the precipitation rate. So, so as we head into Monday of next week, there we're seeing all that moisture across parts of the uh, U.S. as well as the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands and sections of the northern Caribbean as well. As we head towards Wednesday of next week, they were seeing that strengthening low pressure system offshore and the associated front. So still seeing the tail of it in parts of the Caribbean and eventually making its way out, but still seeing all that moisture through parts of the Leeward Islands. Euro is also expecting something similar. This is as we head into Monday of next week. We're seeing that increase in moisture across parts of the Northern Caribbean. Then as we head out going towards Wednesday, there we are definitely seeing a lot more activity and that low pressure system strengthening. And then as we head into the latter of the week going to Friday, we see the tail end of it moving through the Caribbean. So models are in agreement about about this next low pressure system and it could be pretty significant so in the case of these more massive frontal systems if you will what usually happens well there is a change in wind direction and even those stronger winds in the wake of the front as it passes uh, along with those cooler temperatures a lot of that cooler air moving through but as the frontal system approaches and there's all that moisture uh, there's likely to be some thunderstorms moving through some areas some periods of heavy rainfall and even more wave action as well. So with the stronger winds come those rougher seas. So that may result in some erosion along coastal areas when uh, very intense frontal systems are making their way by. And some models have been pretty much consistent about this next system forming, but I'll be keeping my eye on it. And we should get a pretty good picture of what to expect as we head into the end of this weekend very early next week but that is pretty much it for right now i hope you found this video to be quite informative and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be with the wise